In the last part, we are trying to stop. We are going for the source here. I don't know what we are trying to stop here. Elliot Adam Hirtian, our friend Fen Eliatha, Eden Adlegi Bank. Elliot, so he will help us. Files have met again, thanks to Good Smeagol, but we must hurry now. The enemy has sent a sorcerer. I saw them through the haze when they crossed. And I saw you. I knew I heard your voice. What does a sorcerer want? All I know is he must never touch the source. My strength is dwindling. I fear the well is lost to me now. It will need all I have left, and all of your strength too. Mel, this will not be easy. They are coming. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Let me guide you. Move, damn it. We must enter the haze now. Don't let the shadows into your heart. I have... I'm literally drinking chai, tea, and playing. Let me seal the door. Let me see, uh, I have four only, so I can get it. This should give us some time. Come, walk beside me. Uh, I guess some um, weird shit. The haze is spreading, my love. And all it touches is forever changed. It didn't change you much. You still wear my ring? I do. Smeagol was your name? Yes. Your friend doesn't say much. For once. Here we are. Don't get too close to the well. What's happening here? The entire hall is screaming. It's being torn apart. Above the well, the blazing orb fueled by wind and water. That is the source of the haze. What's our plan? Destroy the source. No. I fear the haze is all that holds this hall together. But if we could somehow reach the well, we could try to heal it. <laughs> but the elf said, don't go near the well. There are two wind towers that feed the haze with air and music. See those openings left and right? If we manage to close off both towers, we might calm the haze just enough. It will not be easy, though. We promise to help the elves if they help us in return. I don't know. There's no time for doubts now. I can't go, you know that. I will stay at the source, calm it as long as I can. You two divide the tasks and close off the towers. So be it then. I will take the left tower. Your friend can take the right. Can he climb? Like a squirrel. Follow the song of the wind, Smeagol, until you reach the highest chamber. There is a large wind gate there. Close it to silence the song. Up, up to the top. Close the wind gate. Watch your step. The haze has eaten away much of the towers.
Let me uh, run out of room. It's dangerous, the elf said, to heal the source. How dangerous? <laughs> Elves know best what they're doing. said to heal the source. How dangerous. Elves know best what they're doing. Mel shouldn't stay with the unfriendly elf. Perhaps she will leave with us. listening to Gwendolyn's voice. What's it wrong? wrong? Spiegel just wants to say good luck, doesn't he? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. Good luck.
Hey. Oh, 
Wait for this thing the apparent to as much on the jump out of this the big jump man and also these two things are all dead dead I tried to take the stairs. There are no stairs. Exactly. Uh, I can't move it. How is Mel? The wind is still humming. The elf didn't shut the gate. No. Good thing you came. It looks like Mel was right to trust you. Let me help you get up there. At least that I can do. Watch. Okay. Do not trust your step, or you will end up like me. The elf will stay here. I will try to heal it, but it may take more time than we have. Good luck. Okay. So... Try to heal it, but it may take more time than we have. Good luck. Oh, 
and again it's Smeagol who helps, not that other elf. I wish. Eh? What do we wish, my love? I wish that Gwendolyn was gone. Then we could be Mel's eyes again, and she would drive off wraiths and evil men who want to hurt us. Mel would look out for us. Look out for us? It doesn't have her eyes left, does it? Smeagol won't be alone anymore. No, never again. Smeagol won't ever be alone again, will he? No, never. I wish the Riddle Master was dead. Gimbal! Find them! Must hurry! little orc. Mm -hmm. But this is our riddle master. <sighs> Time for our little game, my love. He would take Mel and go into the dangerous well with her. Smeagol won't kill him. No, of course not. Good Smeagol, just throw a little stone. Then Mel can be our friend forever. Friend, friend. When has Smeagol ever been any good for his so-called friends? Smeagol always helps. Remember the frail man? Smeagol sent the orc into the light instead of him. And he didn't like it. Said we robbed him of a good death. Smeagol is good now. Even his little one betrayed Smeagol. Smeagol never did it any harm, did he? No, Smeagol gave it life. It loved Smeagol forever. Candleman said so. Very well. One more. Remember the Glashneg? That one didn't go home to his desert, did he? No, the Precious, the Precious made us do it. Yes, we heard that one before, hasn't we? Doesn't matter. Precious can't protect us anymore. Be quiet. We hate it forever. Be quiet. We are killing the Wait. Wait. Nimdach! Nimdach, Buboshi! 
Oxes. Go. Warn Mel. I will follow as fast as I can. Again, this jump. Why? Spend 19 minutes to see half more than an uh, more than half hour is over. Those better keep their promise. They better. Get off! <laughs> watching stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe guys i think this will be the last video after this so bye guys not for now it's over 40 minutes i'm not gonna extend this video anymore bye